Hey everyone, it's Sarah at Repeat Crafter Me, and if you've seen my social media lately, I have been working on these adorable Fair Isle mittens. They are crocheted. This is not knitted, even though it has a knit look. So I wanted to do a quick video and show you um, how this works. I am following this adorable pattern from Yarnspirations. These Fair Isle crochet mittens are a free pattern available in their new Winter Kaleidoscope lookbook on yarnspirations.com. Of course, I will link to the pattern and the yarn and all the info in a blog post coming soon. But here's an up close look. So see how these crochet stitches look knitted. I'm going to show you exactly how this is done. It's actually very simple. It is the waistcoat stitch or also known as the knit stitch. And I'm starting a new round here. So I'm just going to chain one. And usually you would work under the top of those single crochets from the previous round. But in this stitch, you're actually going to work into that V that you see that the stitch from the previous round made. So I'm just gonna put my hook, this is the first stitch so it's a little tough, there we go. And I'm gonna do an, another one. So usually you would work under here, but with this stitch, you are going to work inside that V. And you're just gonna make a single crochet as normal. going to keep going so you guys can see. So not here. You're going to go insert your hook right in between that V that you saw before. There we go. So I'm using a size H hook for this. Uh, the pattern calls for a larger hook, but I have small hands and I wanted to make them a little smaller than what the pattern called for. It's so one size fits all but you can easily adjust uh, hook size and weight of yarn and all that stuff to accommodate the pattern to fit yourselves. So see how easy that's working up? Okay, so now let's talk about how we change color. I wanted to do this round for you, uh, just so you see how you will need to carry your yarn and make your stitches. Okay, so what I'm doing is on this Fair Isle mitten, I am following this graph that's included in the free pattern from Yarn Inspirations, and I am on, oh my gosh, row six. Um, if you're new at this, I would definitely use a pen and mark your little pixel squares and rows so you know where you're at. And I have my two strands attached just because I've been using them in these previous rounds. And let's see, according to the graph, I am going to make a, let me get my yarn untwisted. I'm going to make a, um, crochet stitch with the blue first. So um, I didn't mention this before. Um, this is called the waistcoat stitch or the knit stitch is what I had mentioned. But in the pattern, uh, they're calling it a split single crochet stitch. So that's what you'll see in this particular pattern. But just as before, we're going, inserting our hook into that V 
Okay. And now my next color is gonna be the white. So before I finish this single crochet, I'm gonna pull my white strand through because now I can easily start on the next stitch and I'm gonna be making two in white. Uh, so I'm holding the blue just against the stitches like this because I'm gonna carry it through. So I do one and then two. This is my second white and I know I'm gonna have to change to that blue next. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up and carrying my white kind of with my back finger there, finishing that stitch off with the blue. And now we do one in blue, switching back to white. I picked one of the hardest rows to uh, crochet for you just so you could see all of these little color changes, but hopefully this will help you. Okay, still carrying that yarn in the back and I'm going to make one stitch with white and I know I am changing to blue. Ooh. So I'm finishing off that stitch with blue. One blue. One white. One blue. Then two white. And then two blue. going back to the start of our round. So we finished off one row here on our pixel graph and these mittens are completely reversible. So now I'm going to start over on my graph, start from that beginning of row six. So we're doing one more blue. Two white. Remember, I'm carrying my yarn through. The strand is getting carried into the stitches I'm making. Okay, so I did, let's see, one blue, I'm losing my track here. Okay, two white, one blue. Uh oh, got my yarn caught. Ah! Switching to white. Switching to blue. Okay. Back to white. Still one, I think it's one blue. Two white. And now two blue, and that's the end of my round. I'm going to go ahead, join, chain one. I'm going to show you guys the inside. So well, this is this is the end already woven, but you have no other ends here because you've carried your yarn through. And there we have almost half of our little snowflake. 